and welcome to Bondi winter. Confusing the hell out of me. Um, I was going to do a winter warmer, thinking it was going to be raining and cold. You'd be wrapping your doona watching me on YouTube, but instead we're doing a winter warmer on a wicked hot winter's day. Anyway, it's still going to taste amazing, so let's get started. All right, we're doing some, uh, some slow braised beef cheeks. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes. Um, uh, it's actually quite easy. I call them shoot and forget um, recipes. So you basically put it all in a pot and a pan, wrap it up, throw it in the oven, and the rest is done by itself, so it's shoot and forget. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's super tasty, really easy, and a little bit fancy. So let's get started. Grab our spices. So we've got some cardamom, coriander, fennel, some chili, some black pepper and then some thyme, some rosemary, and one clove of garlic. And that's gonna be a dry marinade for 12 hours, so all that flavor is gonna go right inside those beef cheeks. Just make sure it's all nice and covered. That's pretty much it, that's our dry marinade. So I've, um, I've done two others in the fridge at the moment, so they've been in there for 12 hours. So we'll grab them, we'll start cooking them up. All right, so that's been in there for 12 hours. It's um, beautiful and marinated. Um, all that flavor's sort of penetrated that meat, it's gone right into those beef cheeks. They're gonna be super, super tasty. So all we have to do now is uh, basically throw in a pan, uh, pan fry them off, get some nice colour on them, and uh, start the cooking process. A little bit of olive oil. All right, so in a nice hot pan, grab your beef cheeks out, and we're just going to colour them off. All right, so a little bit of colour there. All those um, spices are starting to open up and toast. So we'll flip it over. Get the other side done. <laughs> all right, so um, that smells so good. All those spices are releasing their smell. All the aromats are ugh. good, good, good. Anyway, these are all ready to roll. They're all pan fried off. So just pop them into your, your baking dish. We've got a small one for two of us. Um, and then don't wash this pan out. That's all that flavour, that sticky sort of caramelisation. That's going to add really nice flavour to this dish. So um, we're going to throw all our sort of chopped up veg. So we've got half a red capsicum. We've got uh, two sticks of celery, we've got uh, one carrot, and we've got uh, one white onion. Got two cloves of garlic, we'll just chop them up and throw them in there as well. Alright, so all that's in there, all your veggies in there, now cook that up. Straight back on the heat, just give them a stir. If you need to, if it's a bit dry, just add a little bit more oil. I'm going to go two tablespoons of tomato paste straight in here. Cook it out for about two minutes, and what you're doing is you just want to sort of caramelize and cook that tomato paste out and all those beautiful oils going to come through. Um, we're going to deglaze it with a large glass of red wine. Cook it down by about two thirds so it's like a really nice thick and, and rich glaze. Just multitasking, no big deal. <laughs> Alright so all that tomato paste and uh, red wine is produced right down you get a really nice sort of thick glaze. Um, we're going to grab a chicken stock. So we've got about 500 mils chicken stock straight in here. It's just going to break it up. So grab all this, whack it in with the beef cheeks, all that liquid, all that veg, all that flavour, last of it, nice and tight. So straight in the oven, 180 degrees, it's been preheated, um, and that's going to take about four hours. So after four hours, come back, check it. If the meat's falling apart, you know it's ready. So um, that's in there, four hours is enough time for me to go for a surf, get a coffee, go for a beer, play a game of pool, plenty of time. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'll see you in four hours. All right guys, so our beef cheeks have been in there for four hours, they're well and truly ready. They'll be um, falling apart and tender in your mouth. They're so tasty, so let's pour these little suckers out. I honestly don't think they need to be served with much more than what they are. So just be really careful. When you're pulling these out, be gentle, because they're gonna be so soft that if you're rough with them, they're just gonna fall apart. I'm going to break one apart just to show off how good they are. I'm going to do it. All right, you ready? So I said be careful because they literally just fall apart as you touch them. Look at that sort of beautiful gelatin. That's awesome. So I'll pull out the other one. Be careful, be gentle. Get all this veg and this sort of awesome juice, this braising liquid. Get them on top. I'm just going to grab some parsley and pop it on top. This is a winter warmer on a hot winter's day. Um, and it, it'll go really nice with some mash, so, um, you know, mashed potato, some baked veg, all that sort of stuff. But right now, it's just 
showing you how to make a gorgeous, perfect braised beef cheeks. This is one of my most favorite dishes. It's the only reason I like winter is because I love <laughs> braising things. So give this, give this recipe a try. I can guarantee you'll love it. I can guarantee your beef cheeks will be falling apart in your hand um, and you'll be blown away. So make sure you subscribe. We've got plenty more recipes like this.